So, okay. Yeah, I was surprised when, after I talked to Jay, Jay came out to the air base. He was learning how to fly. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came out in a Cessna 310 and with his uh, blonde-haired girl, new girlfriend mm -hmm. and uh, toured the base. And I'm telling him, I say, look, I've got about 30 guys here. We've already been hit a couple of times. And I said, you know, like this is uh, February 60. And I said, uh, you know, I spent Christmas uh, sitting out at the end of the goddamn runway with a fucking 20 millimeter cannon. And we took off one of the planes mm -hmm. to use for anti-aircraft. Mm -hmm. I said, I got some uh, weapons we captured from uh, uh, these uh, counter-revolutionary assholes. And I ain't got shit. And I got a hundred and some students here learning aviation. Mm -hmm. you know, young kids, high school kids, and I need some fucking reinforcement. Mm -hmm. If this place is taken, it can't be taken back. Uh -huh. It sits out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know? And then when I'm being debriefed by the CIA and all, I figured if you're going to do something, you know, eventually that's the place to go. Take that right. base, they'll never get it back. There's two places that you can take. Mm -hmm. One... Uh, you know, the most stupidest goddamn thing is that south of the Bay of Pigs is Cayo Largo. That's where they brought in the first nuclear warhead. Mm -hmm. and it was being tur turned into an in uh, a uh, tourist resort. Mm -hmm. And my paratroops were sent down there to help build the airfield and the, and the tourist resort. Mm -hmm. here, was, here was the airstrip they needed for the Bay of Pigs. Mm -hmm. And it was totally ignored. Mm -hmm. And... As far as I was concerned, anybody serious about doing something uh, other than guerrilla warfare, if they wanted to really uh, create havoc, would be to take San Julian Air Base, which is closer to Mexico than it is to fucking Havana. Uh, there's a certain number of bridges. If they're taken out, there's no armor, there's no traffic, there's no nothing. You know, He has no Navy, no amphibious forces. Here you are sitting in a place where nobody can get rid of you. You know? mm -hmm. And there are no military garrisons in the neighborhood mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. It's out in the middle of nowhere with two big, beautiful, long 7,000-foot runways, you know, a mm -hmm. whole bunch of barracks mm -hmm. and uh, kitchens and the whole thing. I brought my San Anistas in there, and they weren't even noticed. I'm saying uh, I did. I jumped onto some of the tomato fields. You have to be careful because there's uh, just uh, forests, forests of thorn bushes they call Matabu that's, uh, that can go up to two stories high. Mm -hmm. Deadly shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I jumped on various tomato f sand fields around uh, that particular area and a couple times I wore my Marine Corps uniform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to see if I could get away with it. Right. <laughs> I wasn't wearing my Rebel Army uniform. I'm wearing my Marine Corps fatigues, utilities, says USMC and got the globe and anchor on the son of a bitch and I'm speaking English. <laughs> you know? And nobody says shit. <laughs> I roll up my fucking parachute and I go out there and, and we hitch a ride, me and the, my other uh, Cuban paratroopers, and we hitch a ride on a farm vehicle and uh -huh. drive in the front gate of the goddamn uh, uh, air base, no guard at the goddamn gate. Uh -huh. and, and typical, what pissed me off is right there at the, the gate, it's just like a, a farm gate. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a little shit house, like a portable toilet guard post. Mm -hmm. But there's a pole there, the power pole, and there's a big lever on it where if you pull that fucking lever, it kills all the power to the base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a one-point entry of, of the electrical power there, and I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. There was nothing to keep just some asshole wino coming by and cutting our fucking power off. Mm -hmm. You know? So Jay sent me these reinforcements. Uh, a few of his boys, about a squad of his his boys, a couple captains, but a uh, hundred and some of these uh, cadets from the Rural Police Training Academy under uh, Chinea mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for reinforcements. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, in Twyman's book, he, he emphasizes at some point, and I believe you said this to him anyway, um, if he got it right, that you... Well, that you were extremely white. 